Good morning and welcome to the second Vlogtober video. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns and I teach knitting workshops online and in person. And I sell pretty yarns. And as I explained in yesterday's video, my shelves behind me are empty, or mostly empty, because I was at a uh, local wool market yesterday. So I'm probably going to try this afternoon to start putting some of this yarn back on my shelves um, and get my office back to working conditions because the next couple of weeks are very very busy so thank you for joining me i appreciate you being here whether you're new or returning viewer thank you very much for your time um if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and tell me um what are you doing knitting this month or what are you doing this weekend so it's 2nd of october today is sunday it's sunny at the moment but it was raining earlier um, I was just checking to see if it was still sunny outside. Um, I'm just waiting for my daughter to get ready and then I'm going to get her to model a couple of sweaters for me. They were last year's Christmas sweater for Let's Knit. I think the other one is the year before uh, or it might be the year before that. So 2021 and 2020 or 2019, I'm not sure. Uh, but the one from last year, I'm definitely going to self-publish this year. Um, so I need to, I was thinking it's October already, I need to get on with that because I really would like it out by the end of October. I need to like go through the pattern, get it tech edited again, maybe add some sizes and things like that. So I need to get on with that. Um, this week, no idea when I'm going to fit it in this week, but um, it's a very busy week. Anyway, I'm here to tell you about yesterday's wool market. I filmed some footage from yesterday's wool market. The wool market was open in Liscard from um, 11am to 5pm. I was on my own, so I couldn't leave my stall once it opened. I set up on the Friday evening, but I had a few things that I had to finish off on Saturday morning. So I got there at nine just after 9 on Saturday, finished all the stuff I had to do, and then I had to walk around. So when I was walking around doing a bit of filming, um, I didn't film everything because a lot of people were still setting up, so I didn't want to film the people who were still setting up.
so as I said I walked around before it opened and not everyone had was kind of ready to sell not all the storeholders were there uh, some people hadn't even arrived to set up yet because um, I think they'd had problems with traffic and stuff but the first store that really caught my eye was a lady who made shawl pins and buttons and I didn't look too closely at her buttons I wish I had because they were gorgeous but I did buy um her sh a shawl pin and I'm just looking on the back of it so let me show you what it looks like bright pink she had loads of colors she had solid colors and they were I think they were hang on the price is on them uh 18 pounds oops I think that's quite a good price really um and then she did some like multicolored swirly kind of design um colors they were quite pretty ones but I'd got this solid pink one um so it's made from West Country Creative and I'll tag her below she said she also does courses but she's not doing courses at the moment but her she gave me a leaflet and she does um looks like she does jewelry and things as well so uh, i will tag her business below and this is on the back of the card it says bamboo pin with polymer clay this versatile handcrafted pin can be used to fasten a knitted wrap shawl woolly scarf or cardigan it also makes a great embellishment on a crocheted hat to fasten a silky scarf push to pin completely through the hole and take the pin behind it okay so if you're using something that's not knitted or crocheted take that out and put it like under the fabric so it doesn't go through the fabric um because it would ruin the fabric or any kind of woven fabric take two to three layers of the item to be fastened and push them through the hole in the disc from the back to the front and yeah that's just instructions how to use it i don't think i need to do that do that and she said she does normally do workshops but she's not at the moment um but that's really pretty i don't know where she's based she's based in lifton in devon which isn't too far from where i live so that's really pretty i really like that and then the second thing i bought so when i was looking around and filming a bit um Bellica Yarns, uh, I have some of her yarn mustache was there and she was still setting up so I only kind of filmed like half her store because she was still setting up on the other half and she had a table full of project bags and I actually had my eyes on another project bag but I didn't buy it straight away because I have a lot of project bags and there may be another one on the way confessional in a few days when it arrives um so I wasn't sure. I was thinking I shouldn't buy another project bag because I have loads. But then in the afternoon, towards the like half an hour before the show finished, it was quite fairly quiet and it'd been quite a good day. I'd sold um probably more than I was expecting because my expectations were quite low because of COVID and things, uh cost of living and energy prices going up and all that kind of stuff. So um I didn't have very high expectations. So I went but I was thinking I sold quite well and I thought I really fancy one of her bags because I love project bags so I went and had a look and the one I had my eyes on she'd sold but I looked at her other bags and this was this, like my second one I had my eyes on I wasn't sure there were two different styles of bags this I think is probably more practical for what my needs are so this is the one I bought so it is a um let me just put something in it so I'll just put a couple of things in it so you can see what it looks like so it's got a flat bottom like that like a flex flat box bottom is that what they call it and then like um drawstring at the top um and you can put that on your wrist if you want to it's quite a good size you can uh i put a 100 gram dk ball skate um yarn which i'll talk about in a minute and that inside there and there's definitely room for more so you can easily fit like a shawl project or um, like a sleeve and things like that in there so it's reasonably big you won't be able to fit a whole sweater in there I don't think but if you're using circular needles you might be able to fit like the front or the back of the sweater if you're knitting it in thinner yarn but definitely a sleeve a shawl things like that so perfect what I need I don't need a lot of really big project bags because I don't I have a couple that are quite big and that's enough what I need it for so that's from Bellica Yarn, so I'll tag her below. She's got beautiful hand dyed yarn as well, which you can see in the video. Um, and then I wanted, I need to, one of the things I mentioned yesterday was that I need to design a project for my brioche workshops, a fairly easy project. Um, I've decided after getting some feedback this summer that people like to have a project to make in the workshop. I've decided for my brioche workshop, that I would design a Pair of very easy wrist warmers that people can make in the workshop if they wanted to so i got 
this yarn, which is um, Best Yorkshire Spinners Colour Lab. DK. I was thinking about using Lang Marina DK because I have quite a lot of their solid colours in DK in my stash at the moment. Um, but I want to do a brush project, project which uses a self-striping or variegated yarn. So this is self-striping. I don't think I'll use that much of it. So I was thinking if I don't use all of it, I could use the rest of socks maybe. Because I could do with another pair of thick socks for Pilates. Um, might just be like shorty socks, we'll see. But I, so I got this Colour Lab DK. Uh, the lady was um, Yarns of Holdsworthy, I think it is. Holdsworthy is in North Devon. Um, she had a few colours of Colour Lab DK and I wasn't sure what to go for. So I ran up like right at the end of the day and got this one. I nearly forgot, but I ran up and got that one because I'd thought last week about ordering it online. So I thought if I can buy it without pink shipping, then that's good. Uh, and then I have some Colour Lab DK in the solid pale grey in my stash so I'm thinking about doing those two. Um, I also have this yarn in I think I've got a dark grey somewhere and I got like a lime green but I think this one might be the best one with these colours um, but that's my plan for a brioche wrist warmer easy workshop project. Um, so yeah that was it that was all I bought and let me show you let me show you what I was knitting during the show. So I know I, if you watch, actually no, this is coming up. I don't think I talked about this yesterday, but it's coming up later in the week in my Yarndale like recap video on Thursday, I think. Um, I cast them for a new pair of socks at Yarndale. But as I said in that video, or as I say in that video, I filmed it two days ago, but it's not out yet. I wasn't 100% sure about the colour. And it was a, it's a little bit dark and uh, gloomy, so I fancied knitting something else. So I, Friday evening, I knew I would need something to knit on during the quiet times at the beginning of the show and at the end of the show. So I cast on for a pair of socks in some yarn I got from Spinny Yarn. Um, last month they're teaching. I it come came in a ball kind of wound like that because it's opal, but I like to wind it up like that because it takes like a lot less space uh, and it's a lot easier to knit from. Um, so I wound it up like that. I put it in my bag from Elden Woodcraft, which I can just put on my wrist like that. So it's easy when I'm knitting at a show and things. Um, and I knitted the toe on Friday night. And then I knitted, so where that marker is, is where the toe ends. So I knitted that at the show yesterday. I knitted a bit before the show started and then a bit right at the end of the day. Um, so I didn't knit a lot yesterday because it was quite busy during the day. It kept being fairly busy and steady throughout most of the day. There was quite a big rush in the morning and then it went very quiet at lunchtime. And I thought, oh, this is it. It's going to be really quiet all afternoon. And then it got quite busy again for a while in the afternoon. So that was great. So if you came along yesterday to the uh, Liscard's Three Bags Full Wool Market, thank you very much for coming. We all really appreciated your support. It's been a tough time for small businesses the last two and a half years. And I don't think it's going to get any better anytime soon. Um, so I know all the storeholders really appreciate your support. The show is run by a group of volunteers. Most of them are from Liska Net and Nata, who run the Three Bags Full events, and they do so much work. They were they were yarn bombing the town earlier last week, and then they yarn bombed the venue on Friday, and it just looks so all the like little yarn bombing things that you see the crocheted mandalas, the uh, little knitted sweaters on the stage. Um, the pom-poms, they're all made from by members of Liscard Knit and Atta, which is my local knitting group that I haven't been to for ages. But So thank you to them for all their hard work. Um, and thank you to everyone who came along. Thank you for, to everyone who supported me and bought stuff and chatted and commented and said they wish they could buy stuff, but they thought my patterns were too difficult for their um, skills. Loads of comments about my brioche patterns. One lady didn't believe that my enchanted wrap was actually knitted. She said, that's printed, surely. And I went, no, it's knitted. And I showed her and she was absolutely speechless. So that was lovely. She'd never seen anything like that before. So that was really lovely. So I had a fantastic time. And I've just looked at the time of this video. This is going to be a bit longer than what I intended. Um, so I'm going to stop now. I'm going to um, go and do some mining and then my daughter to model these two sweaters and then we're going to get ready to go to Plymouth 
to get our COVID booster vaccines, which is why I'm wearing this bright t-shirt because it's the only clean t-shirt I have that have, doesn't need ironing so that I can just pull my sleeve up and get the vaccine in my arm. Uh, quite pleased to get it because I'm going to, I've got a lot of workshops coming up and I'm going to Spain in eight days. Um, 10 days I think yeah 10 days so I was quite keen to get my vaccine before I go because I haven't had a booster now for nearly nearly a year I had my last booster in November last year so it's been quite a long time so I don't know how effective that is by now so I was quite keen to get this done before I go to Spain and before my autumn workshop program kicks up kicks off because there's a lot going on anyway if you're interested in workshops in Liscard in Cornwall um in the next 10 days i'm teaching some in liscard and i'll put all those details below and the link to book it but it is i think strand the color work on tuesday's full then i'm doing i think it's mitre squares on thursday lace knitting the following monday and then brioche knitting on tuesday the 11th um i know lace knitting and mitre squares still have spaces i think strand the color work is full i think brioche is either full or nearly full so if you're interested in that, I'll put all the details below. I'll put all the details of the stuff I bought below. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you uh, next time. Thank you for watching.